road trip to Lewis, Delaware, and then we're going to stay at Rehoboth Beach for three nights. Grotto Pizza. A legendary taste. Grotto Pizza. Yeah, apparently that's something I have to try. I've never had that. Here at Cape Penlopen in Delaware. It's a beautiful state park. Look, check out these dunes. Look at all those dunes. <laughs> this is called the point. I don't think you can go past those markers, but there's um there's usually a bunch of horseshoe crabs down this way. There's a lighthouse over here. Let's see if this guy's alive. Yep, he is. I see him swimming. Say hello. hello. <laughs> oh no, he's moving. Yeah, he's alive. Uh, oh my god, he got pinchy. There he goes. He got pinchy. <laughs> Actually, these will die unless we put him out further. He was like, he was like beached. Give me the thing. Yeah, we're gonna save his life. Save him. It's cold. Why is he turning around the other way? Go home. Go back out in the water. He wants to die. He's had enough. Bye bye. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Oh my God, I'm dating Steve Irwin. Lewis Beach is over there in the distance and I don't know if it's picking it up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a ferry boat and that goes from Lewis Beach all the way to Cape May, New Jersey because I guess like they're both peninsulas and there are, oh look, there's one. There's one that's flipping upside down. So now when they flip on their back, they can't, it's a lot of times they can't turn their uh they have like those tails but sometimes they can't flip themselves back over so that's why when you go to the beach a lot of times you'll see these things upside down and they're dead because when they come when they come ashore on to the shore 
they sometimes land on their back and then they can't, or sometimes this will happen where they get stuck in the sand. I'm not sure if this guy's allowed or not, honestly. Oh yeah, he's alive. I guess I'll let him here. He looks like a mean one. Oh, there's one. Look at all these little muscles. There's a whole bunch of muscles and razor clams. Let's see if I can pick one up and see what's about it. And there's seaweed and stuff. Oh, there are little snails. Sea snails. Look how beautiful these dunes are. This is the um, prettiest beaches I've ever been to. I wonder what that is there. Is that some kind of flower? Yeah. Like wildflowers? That's pretty. I don't think a lot of people even know about this part of Cape Henlopen because every time I'm here there's like nobody here and it's by far the prettiest spot in the whole park. the only people on this whole beach. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Good. <laughs> you like this beach? Uh, it's the most remote beach I've ever been on. Have you ever been to Assateague? No. Oh, it's even better than that. Assateague always has a lot of people. There's never anyone here. Every time I come here, but if you go to the main beach, there's like a ton of people, but it's still nice because the, the main beach actually has a, like a bathhouse where you can change and stuff, and like bathrooms and like a snack bar and everything. So yeah, like if you come to the Delaware beaches, you gotta stop here. He's overturned again. Oh no, I gotta go save another one. I think that's a different one. Hey buddy, where do you think you're going? Be free. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> there he's there he goes. I saved him. Oh! There's so many shells right there. Check out this little fiddler crab. Oh, come back. Come back. Uh-oh, he's trying to pinch me. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's where I found him. So yeah, that was the point. Now we're gonna we're gonna go to Fort Miles. We have like a tower you can go up into. World War II. Uh, I guess it was like a like a Coast Guard base or something. This was like a World War World War Two. I think it was the Coast Guard. I'm not sure for sure. I have to look at these plaques over here, but. Uh, this is like the bunkers where they would sleep and stuff. And I, if memory serves, I think they stopped a German sub here. Like from, it was headed to, towards New York, I think, New York City or something like that. So yeah, they built this big thing. Okay, it was the army. 2,300 soldiers and a whole bunch of like um, big cannons. And yeah, they, I don't know if they, sh I don't know how they stopped the German boat. Like, I don't know if they, it was like a U-boat or something. I don't know if they uh, sunk it or. It's pretty cool. There's a there's like a observation deck up here, like a lookout point. You can get pretty good views of the beach. You can go in these. There's nothing in them, but yeah, these are where where they would sleep. I don't see how they fit 2,300 soldiers here. Maybe there was more bunkers back then, but. I can't see how they would have fit 2,300 soldiers in these buildings. They still have like electricity hooked up in here and stuff. It's crazy. They probably do events and stuff here, like maybe reenactments or something, I don't know. There's some cannons over here. I'm, I'm guessing that these were to shoot down planes because they're not like situated right by the ocean. So these would have been to aim up and shoot planes down. These are called three inch guns and these these required 15 men on each one. That's nuts. Firing range of 11,000 yards, that's pretty good. That's where you would go to see, there's like a museum there and that's where like the biggest gun is but it's closed right now. There's some really big ones up here. Probably be able to get a shot of the front of that big one. But you just can't go inside right now. This is one of the bigger ones, but then there's one that's like five times the size over here. Look at that one. It's really big. That's where that bigger cannon back there used to be. That's where it originally was. See, it had this glass and it was like sticking out of that. Check this, check out this view.
There used to be a really nice lighthouse here. It was here for 161 years and closed in 20, 1924. It says it was abandoned after shoreline erosion, which undermined the foundation. But yeah, look, it was really cool. And there's another picture of it. They also have a tower you can walk up into and there's an observation deck up there, but it's closed right now for renovations, unfortunately. But yeah, it's worth checking out. I've been up there before. Some good views up there. So if you're ever here, you should probably go up there and check it out. Did you like Cape Henlopen? Yes. Cool. <laughs> right, we're going to go check into our hotel at Rehoboth now. So yeah, stay tuned for the Rehoboth vlog.